Hey guys, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a small perfume haul. My last video was my TK Maxx shopping trip. I picked up a few things in this bag here. Ta-da! <laughs> um, all on sale, all blind buys. One of them isn't from TK Maxx, so I'll start off with that one. And uh, let's see, let's just jump right in. The first thing I got is from a niche house that I haven't really heard much about in the community, but the notes looked really interesting. This is from the house of Nomenclature, and this is called Shiso. So it's a very, very big box. Uh, the bottle is really cool. Let me just uh, try to take this off. It's a lot of packaging though. <laughs> So it goes like that, and then there's another sleeve that it slides out of. Have to be careful. And then some more packaging, and it opens up like this. Very, very unique bottle and packaging. And the fragrance is there. It's shaped as a, well, here's the elaborate box <laughs> with the name of the company made in New York and then the bottle looks like that it looks like it belongs in a, a chemistry lab um, has some molecule <laughs> drawing there eau de parfum 100 ml and yeah let's uh, give this a try <clears throat> sorry so she so is an herb that's used a lot in or sometimes I think <laughs> it's used in Japanese cooking and it's a note that I don't see much in in fragrances I have one other perfume that has shiso and it's one of my favorites it's um, by Etat Libre d'Orange it's the Fils de Dieu and this fragrance called shiso I will say that it's really difficult to spray because when I'm holding it and I press down, it almost feels like I, I want to go like this. And then it feels like it's going to go um, fall out of my hand. <laughs> and around here it has like some interesting design. But I'll be very careful. See, I, can, I can't do it. Like, I feel like it's slipping already. So I'm going to do it down here. Like, I mean, the bottle is really cute. But, you know, using the bottle is really difficult. Especially because... Uh, when you press down it's like really really difficult to it's like it's stiff kind of so nomenclature shiso very very nice you guys this is minty it's fresh there's a very tangy citrus in here it actually reminds me of of that cocktail the mojito you have that minty basil kind of greenness in here, but also very cooling, very refreshing, perfect for the summer, quite loud. <laughs> the mint in here is quite intense as well. Um, so it's kind of like a spearmint kind of, kind of scent, but it's not like the gum kind, like chewing gum. But basically, it's a very intense minty mojito, and I love it. <laughs> yeah, this was a blind buy. It was a successful one. This is going to be perfect for summer, you guys. Bertrand Duchefort is the perfumer of this one. Very underrated, very like, I don't really hear about this brand at all, but yeah, I'm not a fan of the bottle design because it's not comfortable. Like I literally have to use two hands to spray this. Uh, this is really stiff, but the scent is really, really nice. She's so, um, I'll just read out the notes here. Okay, so this one was released in 2017. The main accords are green, aromatic, fruity, fresh, spicy. And the notes in this one, <clears throat> There's a lot. Shiso, rhubarb, mint, black currant, lemon verbena, ivy, anise, and cardamom. So I also get that lemon lime kind of scent in here, along with that green herbal mint and basil. 
not really sure if I get rhubarb in here though, but, but yeah, I'm looking forward to wearing this definitely as it gets hotter this summer. And yeah, I'm really happy with this uh, blind buy. Was on sale, so I thought I would just go go for it and take the gamble. And luckily it worked out. So let's move on to the next thing. So in my videos, my recent TK, TK Maxx shopping videos, there was this brand that I saw a lot of there, uh, Saint Barth fragrance. Uh, this is the same company that made Vani West Indies. I think that's their most popular fragrance. Um, that one didn't work out for me when I tested it and reviewed it a while ago. However, there were other fragrances that I was very interested, very interested in, sorry, <laughs> just based on the notes. So the first one here um, is this one. It is Fleur de Can Sucre. So I'm going to guess that means sugar cane flower this one was 39.99 the guy who was um ringing this up there was like a sticker here and he totally ripped it off of so i wasn't really happy about that because there was a right up here <laughs> anyways um let's give this a try well i have worn this because when i was on that on the way home from the tk maxx that day when i bought this uh, we were stuck in a traffic jam, so I decided to give this a try, open it up, and try it in the car. And it was quite a hot day. And the first thing my husband said, he's like, oh my gosh, whatever that is, it's amazing. And I'm like, really? He's like, yeah, that's really, really nice. Um, so this is one of my most complimented scents. <laughs> I've worn this just a few times, and the times that I wore it, he made a comment and... I test things like all day throughout the day. He usually says nothing at all, but for this one, for some reason, he has commented on. And um, he really likes it. I really like it. Fleur Akan de Can Sucre uh, Sugar Cane Flower, I'm assuming. And these one norms these fragrances normally go for, it says here 97 euros. And for 40 euros, I thought it would be fun to blind buy it. And I, as I said, really, really like this scent. Mm, it is sugary, but not in a candy-like way or in an artificial way. It smells like a very natural smelling sugar, sugary water, uh, sweet, not juvenile, Kind of like a grown-up sweetness, very smooth, kind of creamy because there's also some flowers in here that um, dry down. I smell the flowers more so as this fragrance dries down. Um, but in the beginning, you, de you get this most gorgeous sugary vanilla, sugar cane kind of scent. Very natural smelling, very elegant. It is just gorgeous. <laughs> This is another house that I don't really hear much about, um, especially apart from their uh, most popular one, the Vinny West Indies. But yeah, this is a beauty, you guys. Another successful blind buy. I mean, I own a lot of sweet fragrances, but this one here is extra special. It's an eau de toilette because of how smooth it feels and how, and how natural it smells very, um, it's like an elegant sweetness in my opinion. So I'll just um, uh, find out what the notes are in here. Just bear with me. <clears throat> my throat's a little bit scratchy this morning, it's kind of weird. So Floridacan Asucre, main accord, sweet, fruity, caramel, tropical, and vanilla. And the notes, well, this was released in 2007. And the notes here, there's only three listed, sugar, pineapple, and caramel. So I am thinking that I want to layer this with coconut to give me some, uh, some pina colada vibes because this isn't like, when I smell this, I don't really think of pineapple. But I'm hoping 
as I wear this and test this more that I'll get more of the pineapple and especially if I if I add some coconut perfume to it then I'll get more of that pina colada thing which I don't know I love the scent and taste of pina colada and yeah this is just a gorgeous sweet um, sweet sugar cane sugary fruity scent oh you guys it's so good <laughs> so that's saint barth fragrance fleur de can a sucre eau de toilette 50 milliliter now the next one that i picked up is from the same house you guys this one of course another blind buy saint barth fragrance this one is called and i'm probably going to say this wrong Uwanalau. Uwanalau. <laughs> I'm not really sure what that means. Um, the little right up here is the reason why I decided to blind buy this. Um, also $39.99. Okay, so the right up here. To start, a fresh fruity note of tangerine and soursop, followed by the green floral body of Caribbean box on a background of guayacum wood maybe that's guayac wood and a bay leaf so sour sop is the reason why i decided to get this it's kind of weird because the notes listed on fragrantica are different from what it says here and i believe it's different from what it says on their website so i don't know i guess i'll just i'll go by what this says here and sour sop is a tropical fruit that I haven't seen here in Holland, but when I was younger, my mom used to buy this soursop frozen dessert. Um, and I haven't had it in like years, but I really, really loved it. It was this very nice, milky, creamy, sweet and semi-sour fruit that is kind of hard to explain, but it kind of reminds me of um, orangey, pineapple-y, coconutty it's like a combination of different fruits together in one fruit um, so sour sop if you guys have tried that let me know and let me know what you guys think it tastes like because it is such an unusual uh, taste scent profile that is very very unique so that's why I, got, I decided to blind buy this one Uwanalau and the bottle is the same as the other one the the Fleur de Can à Sucre, but this one is a gorgeous blue color. I love how simplistic these bottles look like. Um, 50 ml Eau de Toilette. Let's get this on a test strip. I have worn this just once, you guys, and I love this one as well because what I smell here is that dessert that my mom used to buy, sour sop dessert. It was like a frozen, frozen drink, kind of creamy, milky dessert. Oh, you guys, <laughs> really difficult to, to explain this fruit, but it is a combination of sugary, sweet, pineapple, um, apple, what else? I don't know tropical fruits it is just really really yummy it is a gourmand scent it smells like something that I would like to eat for dessert uh, a little bit of tanginess in here because of that little bit of um, sourness that comes out um, in the mid it starts off really really sweet and then it gets a little bit sour but that sourness isn't really overtaking the sweetness of this so yeah this is a delicious tropical fruit salad very elegant as well it doesn't smell like candy it doesn't smell artificial or chemical ish it is just <sighs> it's a fruit fruit salad in the tropics in hawaii or i guess in saint barth <laughs> and um I love this one. So this one is something that I think I will also layer with coconut because I just love coconut right now for the summer. Uh, I think coconut goes with pretty much everything and uh, I love this. 
<laughs> there's another one that now, because I loved both of these ones, and these were both uh, blind by successes, there's another one that I kind of want to get now, and it's called Tijuka or Tijuka, and that one features the note of lychee. And if it's anything as good as this one, oh my gosh, then I think it's going to be a nice one too. So maybe I'll pick that one up <laughs> if it's still there at some point. But yeah, I love, I love this, you guys. And I'm so happy that so far we're 343 with the blind buys. And um, they were on sale, which is awesome. And I'm very, very pleased about that. And I'll be definitely wearing these ones for the summer. All right, guys, so we have one more to go. This one here was something that, well, obviously it's another blind buy, but this one interested me because, because of the price, you guys. I just could not not get it because it was so cheap. <laughs> so this is from the house of Nazin Gold, and it is a niche house. And the price was originally 120 and uh, their price was $16.99. So that is insane. I have seen this fragrance on current, you know, retail web shops. Um, and it was $120. So I was like, ooh, <laughs> uh, let's give that a try. It wasn't a, a big gamble at $16.99. The notes looked really nice in this one. And uh, yeah, I, I'm hoping this is going to be good. So. For some reason, they didn't take off the plastic. All right, so here is the box here. It still has the plastic. G, I'm not really sure what that stands for. 100 ml bottle. It has a list of all of the ingredients in here. And let's get this open. There's no cap in here. Uh, it looks like a tester bottle, but it's not. <laughs> See, no cap. So, there it is. It does have like a stopper here. Uh, let's see if I can get that one off. Okay, and on the back it has the same list of ingredients, which I don't know. It really does look like, like a tester bottle. Uh, anyways, so this is Eau de Toilette, 100 mils. First sniff, first impressions, blind buy. Uh, it was super cheap. <laughs> and let's give this one a try. I'll also spray my skin. Oh. This is juicy, ripe, tart, cooling, fresh grapefruit. Maybe that's what this stands for, G, grapefruit, because mm, <laughs> that's exactly what it smells like. Literally like rolling a grapefruit on a cutting board before cutting into it. And then the juices are like flying everywhere into the air, into your nose, and you get like that sting of a zesty, sharp citrus. A little bit of lemon in here too. Mm, perfect for summer, easy wear. Hmm. Maybe there's some woodiness in here as well in the background. Nice. Really nice. Not super unique. I do love grapefruit as a note. But yeah, this is very fresh, very summery, very unisex. Grapefruit, pomelo, sweetness, tart. Something that uh, is perfect for hot weather. I'm going to wear this today as my scent of the day. Yeah, it, this is really nice. 
And for $16.99, you guys, that's good. Yeah, you really can't go wrong with this kind of scent. If you like citruses, you'd probably love this. I don't know about longevity and projection yet, but on my skin, it smells very natural, not too harsh. This is a smooth, lemony, grapefruit scent. And I like it because I love, I love citrus scents. So let's pull up the notes here. Um, Nazin Gold, G. Main Accord, citri, citri, <laughs> citrus, woody, warm, spicy, aromatic, fresh, spicy. And 2013 was this release date. And then there's a lot of notes. I'll just read them off quickly. Grapefruit, lime, ginger, pink pepper, jasmine, sambac, rose, orange blossom, cedar, vetiver, amber, leather, cacao, and patchouli. So there's some chocolate cacao in here. Well, I do kind of sense in the base something like woody, woodier. <laughs> no cacao yet, but yeah, I'm really inter interested and very curious how this dries down. But anyways, yeah, I like this. <laughs> I'm very happy. I'm very, very happy with today's blind buys. Uh, success, you guys. This is amazing. I'm going to wear these ones for sure for the summer. And yeah, that was basically my small little perfume haul blind buys um, for today. <laughs> Anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. I would love to hear if you've tried these and what you think of them. Thank you guys so much and I will see you guys soon in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.